What up guys, I am I'm Fat in a Bucket, and if you're like me and you want to create a shift lock script, but you don't want it to be shift because shift is how you're gonna sprint in the game. So first things first, I just got like a quick shift um, sprint in the, in the toolbox. And basically what we're gonna do is we're going to put a local script in here. So normally when you just play the game, um, shift lock will not well, it will work. The shift sprint will not work because I have a shift and sprint script and a shift lock script. And of course, the shift lock is going to actually work because it has this high priority. So now I can actually sprint. See that? However, let's just make this a different key bind. And so, how you're going to do that? This local script that I created, it's inside starter player script, which is a, also inside starter player. I'm just going to name it something like uh, control to shift lock or something and then you're gonna select all the, the print hello world and delete it and replace it with this and so this is the script that actually makes it work so i'm just gonna play the game to like actually tell you how it works so as you can see i can sprint like this i can also control and shift lock and sprint which last time i could not do that how this actually works is it takes your player, so you go players here, player. So it takes your player. And additionally, what this does is it actually like creates the script and it puts this script like where it is, like the parent is the player module. And so by it creating the script, you can also rename this to whatever script you want. You can even do this and it will still work perfect fine shift lock and it takes this script right here in the script how it says um like wait for child player module camera module mouse lock controller you're also going to find those right here yeah player module then camera module and then it gets mouse lock controller which is right here and where you see it says bound keys right there it also gets the cursor image so if you do want a different image from the normal shift lock if you don't like this then you can easily just go here and um, don't delete the RBX asset, but you would delete this. I'm just gonna copy it. But you would delete it and then you would replace it with your number that is at the end of your RBX asset. And I'm just gonna take that back because I do not want it to be changed. So I might change it later on, but that's all you have to really do to change it. That's really all there is to the script. I mean, all the script does is it just gets, um, gets the mouse lock script and gets the parent player module and then it gets that child and it gives the value of what the key actually is. So, yes, okay, fine. However, if you want it to be like alt or something, you actually can't have it as CTRL, it just doesn't work like that. It has to be actually spelled out control, but Alt, having it as alt does work, and also having it as like right alt would actually work. But um, just having it as left control is literally like the same thing. So, I mean, that's pretty much all there is. As you can see, I'm sprinting around and I'm sprinting around with this, which last time did not really work. And yeah, that's, that's really it. Subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.